Being able to get 7s in the red zone is the most important difference between winning and losing Madden games this year. For that reason and that reason mostly, I switched to the Raiders playbook because they just have so many good plays in the red zone and also some very very glitchy stuff for 2 point conversions. Which if you guys don't know, 2 point conversions have kind of taken over. They're the thing that pretty much everyone is using to put their opponent in difficult situations. It's basically just who can get more 2 points uh, that's going to win the game. Just because there are some ways that are annoying to defend, if you can just switch it up on your opponent, it's tough to stop and it's going to get you a lot of wins basically. With that being said, this is going to be across all different types of formations that I'm going to use in this ebook and you're going to get a lot of different methods of getting people open. And when we get down into the red zone, there are a couple of things that we can do. We can run the ball and we can pass the ball. I would generally recommend to at least run the ball once if you have like a first and 10 at the 15 yard line somewhere within those first three downs you should run the ball to see if it's there and then after that get to the specific passing plays that's just my philosophy though if you want to sling the ball all the time you can definitely do that as well with those plays the first play i'm going to show is going to be out of bunch and i want to talk about mesh spot right here mesh spot is two wheel routes and i'll show you how to use them most effectively on defense i'm going to come on and cover for a drop now there are a couple of settings that we can use we can use the first and simple set which is going to be to put square on an out route put circle on a flat route just like that and streak the slot receiver we're going to then motion snap to the outside and we've got a double wheel concept basically we can throw this wheel route with the pass lead inside or we can if we want throw the wheel on the right just like that so i'm going to snap this ball and you will now see how i can also throw this with a pass lead to the inside and possession catch now against cover four that looks kind of scary because there's a hook curl there and a flat, but trust me, this is open. I'll throw it one more time and then we'll go to a variation of this play. So I'm going to snap this. I'm just going to look which one is not covered by the user and then I'm going to throw the other wheel. That's basically a, uh, the entirety of the read. If you wouldn't mind, just please take a few seconds out of your day. Subscribe to this channel. It would support me a lot. Leave a like while you're at it as well. YouTube algorithm really likes it and it would help this video reach more people. Thanks so much. Now, one very important thing for you to know is that this actually also works against man coverage. I'll just put these guys in spies right here. And I want to make sure that this safety is manned up on the running back because I want to show you this. I'm going to run the same setup and I'm going to show you how you can throw the wheel route against man coverage. All you have to do is just low pass it and it is going to give a pass lead to the inside away from the defensive back. And basically this is consistent. I'm going to do the same thing once again. I'm going to... I'll just put these guys in spies to make sure I don't get pressured too heavily. Then I'm going to run my setup and I'll throw this to the inside and you see how this is consistent. If this does not get lurked, you can throw this against main coverage. This setup was popularized by Skimbo. We're going to move a little closer to the goal line now. It's really good. Pretty much everyone is running this right now. We're going to put square and an out route, our one on a hitch, out route the tight end and put our circle receiver on a flat route. Then we're just going to snap this ball and what we want to focus on on the right is this window right here. The curl flat gets dragged out by the flat route. The hitch keeps the hook curl inside. And that means that we can throw the tight end. That is one read. The other read, of course, is going to be the wheel route. In which case, I will just hit a low pass. A possession catcher. Whichever one the opponent does not use it. You look to hit that. It's a very, very effective route combination down here with very very good spacing the reason why it is sometimes difficult to score in the red zone is just because you don't have much vertical room to work with and because of that you'll have to work horizontally this is the perfect example of a play like that whenever i start a game i set audibles now my audibles for bunch are bunch trail verticals and z spot but more importantly i set an audible for gun tray dublin sale i need that in there because that is one of my favorite plays in the red zone and especially this is a two-point conversion especially it's just a glitch it just gets open and i'll call spacing switch right here and on defense i'll just face cover three because that is what a lot of people run important for this one you come up with a bunch to the short side and then call double sail, which is audible to it now you see how the guys are going to the wide side of the field now if i snap this ball you will see how if i can get an angle to that throw we get outside of them now that is just the red zone now what is if we actually go to the two-point conversion spot? This is where this works even better. So I'm going to put this right here. Just about the two-point conversion spot. We don't need to be too picky with it. And we'll just audible over to the Dublin sale. All I'm going to recommend you guys to do is put an out route on the running back. So in case that they play man coverage, you have that. And now I'm going to snap this ball. And you will see we just get outside of it. We just get outside of it. And you're going to notice that this actually works better if you come out with the bunch to the wide side. I just noticed that. Sorry, I generally only run this on two point conversion, so I did not know that. But it seems like if you come up with a bunch to the wide side and run it like this, this actually works better. And I'll try this right here. 
maybe I, I'm, I'm testing right here i'm not 100 percent sure i might make a fool of myself but there you go it's just wide open so this is a great play i re i highly recommend you guys try this this is a very very good setup and it's annoying to deal with let's be honest last and final setup that i want to leave you guys off with is going to be utilizing this zig route out of dig return now i think i've talked about this in a video before but i just can't talk about it enough a lot of people let's just say they call cover for drop uh why not uh this in route runs along the back line and it's it's amazing all you're gonna do is you're gonna smoke screen the solo wide receiver you're gonna try to get as much time as possible and the first read is going to be that zig route that zig route gets in a nice little territory against cover four and against cover three all over to cover three right here so you see on the defensive side of the ball, we got cover three. I'm gonna snap this ball, and now you see he just gets open. Like that's that's a wide open ball. You can throw pretty consistently. It has to be used. Now believe me, users have caught on, caught on to this. The, people are gonna use this if they see this. So be careful to not throw this at the user. Otherwise, it's open. Uh, then if the user just kind of covers it, then we get a similar deal to what we had with the corner. The outside corner just does not play this well. It just doesn't react in time. I'm gonna show you this. This is also there against cover three so i'm gonna snap this ball i'm gonna try to get a little bit of a good angle and now you see how we can just throw that be careful with lurkers though or oh, not lurkers uh be careful with acrobats they can sometimes animate on this uh but people like to shade underneath because they want to kind of cover those underneath routes uh so against the hard flat that's not that's not that troubling now against cover two this is where i really like this because you will notice that the uh, left deep half it just gets dragged to the middle and this is about as open as you're going to get this my bad the, the zone just played out of its mind let's try that again if they shade underneath that that just looked really bad the curl flag kind of took up the responsibility of covering that so we'll do this again uh, so we'll wait 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 and we can hit that low pa uh, high pass was inaccurate but you see that the window is there and i just love how the deep half just gets glitched out it's amazing so let's watch this. Boom, boom, boom. This is a deep half, and he just runs through the middle. <laughs> he's just, he just lets this be wide open, and that's a laser. We just missed the high pass, but that's going to happen from time to time. But you got to high pass that, otherwise it's very close. Uh, one more time, just going to run this against the regular cover four. Please do not forget that this is open and that you can throw this. This is pretty much the money maker of this play, uh, because it also beats main coverage. And I'm going to show you this again. Main coverage. Um, yeah, let's just spy these guys. There you go. This is what the play on the offensive side of the ball looks like. Snap this ball. And you see that we just get amazing separation. There you go. That's it. That was the last play that I wanted to show you guys. A lot of plays, man. A lot of plays. Uh, the corner route is my favorite, like the double in sale one. Absolutely beautiful. If you're somewhere in the 15-yard range, please use the mesh spot. Like, just use it. It's amazing. Throw it with a low pass against man coverage, and you're going to have a good time. Be careful of the user, though. People have gotten used to covering this. But, hey. I'm out. I appreciate you guys very much for watching this. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a like if this video helped you. And it also just supports me. It helps the algorithm know that this video is good. Which I hope it was. Let me know in the comments. Peace out. See you tomorrow.